Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Twister OS, which is a distro available for ARM. Specifically, I'll be testing this on a Raspberry Pi 4. And one thing that drew me into wanting to test this OS is that it seems to be aimed toward the average user. You know, it's aimed to be something very easy to use. It does seem to be quite gamer centric. As you can see by default, you'll have access to RetroPie, Steam, Lutris, Discord, all apps that are essential to gaming, you could say. It has a somewhat decent looking theme, even if it looks a little bit outdated. I think it has a solid look and feel. One interesting app here is the theme Twister. This lets you change your theme very easily and it gives you quite a few options you can get the default twister os or go retro with twister 95 xp 7 and twister 10 if you want a more windows like feel but if you want something more mac os like then there's itwister and then there's also itwister sir i really like that it gives you many options in terms of layout by default i think that is where every distro should move towards and this os does it quite well Although when you switch, let's say if I go to iTwister Sir Dark, you get this little menu here and it says your session will automatically be restarted. So go ahead and press enter. And just like it says, it takes you to a login screen, but I don't know the password for this. So I'm going to do a restart here. All right. And I am back. I think the theme does a good job capturing the look and feel of Mac OS Sir. So I'm going to stick with this look and feel for now. If I click the light pad here, it's going to take me to where I can see the apps that are installed. And it does come with quite a few apps by default. You know, it has Chrome. You can see it has DOSBox and it has a few games as well. Again, it seems like it's geared towards gamers more so. You have apps like Minecraft here. And then one interesting app as well is the, the Twister OS web apps. If I open that up, you're going to see that it opens up a list of apps. So there's some games, there's some multimedia apps like YouTube, Netflix, Spotify, social media apps like Messenger, Teams. And if you go to utilities, there's things like Gmail. And really what these are, these are essentially just, you know, apps via the web. But I think it makes it very easy for someone that just wants things to work out of the box. For those that still use Facebook, you could download this Messenger app and it creates this web app that it almost looks like it's designed for a mobile phone. So maybe we'll be seeing a Twister OS for mobile, which this would make a lot of sense for. If you click on YouTube again, it'll just take you to the YouTube web app here. So in a way, this OS feels kind of like a hybrid between being a mobile OS because you have all these apps for all these various websites. And overall, I feel that this OS has a lot of good ideas. This seems to be like an OS that's very easy to use, especially if you're going to be using this to play games on. I mean, overall, it does seem like apps struggle to load, but I think that's more of a limitation on the hardware. But yeah, just imagine this OS on better hardware. I feel like this has a lot going for itself. But let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with a lot of the default choices this OS has made? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you're enjoying my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, here tube, follow me on Odyssey. You can also support me on LiberaPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below.